Hi guys, it's Popple 3 here from the iDroid project. I have a, an iPhone 3G here without I, open iBoot, as you can see. Uh, it's iPhone 3G, and it's not hooked up to anything at all. So what I'm going to show you now is open iBoot installation from the device itself using Bootlace. Um, Neon Koala has uh, built Bootlace, while Blue Rise has worked on the kernel patches needed to flash it, and with the help of CPitch who has been a great help throughout the entire project. He's been an information guy. <laughs> so I'll just wait for it to boot up. And then we can show you. Just worth pointing out there that we recommend that you do hook up to the mains while you're uh, flashing open iBoot. But just for purpose of this demonstration, we're not going to hook up to anything. So, as you can see, it's just a standard jailbroken iOS installation, but we have this program called Bootlace. So that's just going to download the kernel and do the patches. And while this is doing this, it will back up your kernel just in case anything goes wrong. All you have to do is uninstall, uh, uninstall Bootlace and it will be back to normal. But we've been testing it now and all bugs seem to be eliminated. Well, all major bugs anyway. Uh, this will be released soon. But without uh, iPod Touch 1G support at first, it will only work on iPhone 2G and 3G. There you go, that's replacing the kernel. Oh, it needs to reboot. The reason it needs to reboot is because we actually need to run the patch kernel, so we can't just suddenly jump in to run the patch kernel. We need to reboot first before it will actually run. And then once that's rebooted, we can show you the actual flashing. Now we run bootlace again. Now we get a just a quick message about about open boot. Let me close that. Now it's just our normal welcome screen here. But down here we have open iBoot. As you can see we're on version 0.1.3, the new version for bootlace. Let me hit install. Just give you a quick warning about how flashing is a bit dangerous and that you should connect to mains beforehand. So we continue. And this is the actual flashing of OpenOBU taking place. As you can see, it says no service here up in the top left corner. That's because Bootlace puts the iPhone into airplane mode, but leaving the Wi-Fi on, so that 
you don't get a call in the middle of flashing and end up with a brick phone. The time it takes seems to roughly take the same amount of time as with uh, using Load IBEC and OABC on the laptop or computer, apart from the kernel patches obviously, but the actual flashing itself, roughly around the same time. One thing to note is that installing OpenIBoot will actually remove your custom boot logo. So it's some if you really want, but I think OpenIBoot is definitely worth losing your custom boot logo. So there we go, it's installed. Now we can go in and configure it, but we're not going to do anything there. Got to restart. Now we turn on. Turn on. And it actually loads iOS automatically the first time. I think that's um currently just an issue with Open I Boot and it will be sort should be sorted by the time Bootlace two point one is released. So I think if I just do a hard reset here. Now when we turn it on, you see open iBoot. Without ever hooking up to anything and without ever using a PC. So that's the future for the iDroid project and I hope you enjoy it when it gets released soon. But without iPod Touch 1G support at first. But it will be coming. Thank you, this is Papa Tree and